Hello, hello. <laughs> Maloney guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. And I hope everybody's doing all right. So, um, I was just chilling, editing my video. And I was just thinking about some of the struggles I have faced as an individual. Things that I'm still coming out of. I'm in my journey of discovering uh, my strength, discovering and really doing what I want to see myself. So I was just chilling and I'm thinking I have I've struggled with uh, inferiority complex for a long time. And I don't even, I'm not even sure if a lot of people know about it. I don't even think my own family knows about it. I don't know. I haven't asked them. I will ask them. So I was I, I was trying to find out. I wasn't always born like like with it, obviously. But I I something happened that triggered that. Something happened that caused me to 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 lay back or to sort of turn down my volume and all that. So what what this thing does it's it's actually a very bad condition it's a, it's a very bad spirit which it acts as if it's not there and yet it's there it acts as if it's your character it, it's your personality that's how you are but it's not it's it's a condition it's a spirit and and you need to fight it off with with prayer and actually action like you need to do the things that you 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 fear to do the things that you you second guess yourself and yet at the back of your head you know that you can do these things so so let me try and explain but so that someone with the same thing can relate okay, so what how how i i i I recognize that I have I've got a problem that I need to fight. Is there are times when I want to speak out, there are times when I want to say something or contribute something, or just we are in a conversation with friends and and family or or even colleagues or strangers that you just met, you know, and you, you want to contribute, you want to have, uh, you know, that. I've got this awesome thing to say. But once you start speaking, you feel like everybody's looking, is watching your lips, is watching your teeth, is watching your tongue, is watching and listening closely to what you're saying and listening to, to how you're saying it. And, and, and they are watching for every mistake and every gesture. You know, that's how I felt. That's how I feel sometimes. I'm fighting it. And I end up just getting to the point. Like, I'll be like, blah, 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 and I'm done. And people are still waiting for me to, to finish because when I started, it, it sounded, it seemed as if I'm going to say something, you know. You know, you, know you, you, you say something, you start your sentence with an inviting introduction. And then you go like, blah, 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 you're done. And, and you, can, you can tell that people are like, oh, she's done. <laughs> Because while I'm speaking, I'm thinking, am I making sense? Am I making a mistake? Am I saying that right? Is my accent correct? You're having all these things going on. What if I'm wrong? What if I'm making a fool of myself? Am I embarrassing my friends? Am I embarrassing my husband? Do people agree with what I'm saying? All these things will be going on in your head and then you just get to the point fast. And after that, you feel so bad like, I had so much to say. Number two, sometimes I go blank. Like, <laughs> blank. Like, when I'm sitting down and I'm listening, or you ask me a question, or there's a conversation going around, or there's something that I want to say. And then, when all attention is on me, I will go blank. And all I can say is, I want nothing to say. What are you talking about? <laughs> I act like I, I act like I'm not interested in the conversation, or I act like I agree with what everybody's saying, or I act like hmm, 
hmm, I didn't know. I'm learning. And, you know, you try and, and find a substitute, you know, so that you don't look like an idiot. And yet, too late. Those are some of the things that I I experience. And another another scenario is that, um, okay, let's say, okay, let's talk about rehearsals. Okay. I will, like, I know the song. I know which which key to use. I know my I, I know my key. I'm not I'm not I'm not bad of a good singer, no, but I'm not bad. So when I get the mic, the next thing I'm thinking, uh, am I am I saying it correctly? Am I using the right key? Am I not too high? Am I not too low? Am I going to talk? Am I you know, I'm going all these things are going through my head. And then You've, by the time I start singing, my confidence is killed, my self-esteem is just gone, and I'm just singing. I Sometimes I will pick up later, at times, like, I would just be like, ah, you know what, I'll rehearse another time. Or I'll be like, ah, you know what, it's fine. On the day, I'll do it okay. And sometimes on the day, I, I, I'm fine. Sometimes I'm just worse than the rehearsal. That's why I'm saying that it's, a, it's an evil spirit that you need to get off. Limits you from exploring who you really are. Imagine knowing that deep inside you're this bubbly person, you are this exciting people's person who loves to be around people, but because you know you, you, this thing has, has become a part of you, you, and you you always have second thought you always double you know double guess yourself if that's even accurate and you doubt yourself and now you 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 want to adapt to a new character you want to adapt to another personality that hides who you really are and also hides what you're going to understand it's so much work so much work and by so doing, I ended up being a, a quiet, shy. Okay, I am quiet. I am, I am a little bit shy, and but now it was extra, extra quiet, extra. It was now low, very, very low self esteem that I, I, I couldn't even. It was irritating. Come on, girl. You know, but as long as you don't address it, as long as you don't, what what I did is for me to start addressing it. As soon as I start, I think I, I I spent like almost two years, two years thinking about it. Like you know what, this is what I struggle. This is this is what I'm experiencing. You know, and when I recognize that this is what's going on, I spent two years before I actually spoke about it. I, I told my husband. The way I told him was was not like the way I'm doing right now. It was still in a hidden way because because I was trying to because I knew that if I tell him or tell anybody and they don't receive it the way I want them to receive it, or they are like, ah man, you can fight that. Ah man, let's deal with that. You know, that passive you know, even if they've heard you, but they don't really receive it in a way that you want them to receive it. I, I knew I would shut down. I knew I would shut down and I'll never talk about it again. So I told him in a way that I, I knew that even if he, uh, he shuts down, if it happens that he does not react the way that I want him to, I will not shut down. I will just try again. He received it the way that I wanted and I was actually quite surprised because he's normally somebody who, who, who throw in a joke about it and, and then comfort you later. So he really like listened and I needed that. So from that time, I started thinking about but what caused it? Where, where did I start changing? What, what happened for whatever that need to happen? You know, and... And, and I've been thinking about it. And this morning, this morning, what made me do this video 
is I was I was laying down on my bed right here, not ready to do a video. I I was thinking like what could have happened, and then it just came like boom. It just and I started crying. And what made me me so emotional was that I've 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 gone. You know when you're going through your memory. You know, trying to remember. There are things that you go through and they're sort of like videos and some are like pictures. So I was looking for a video kind of memory. So this thing that made me be like this, it was there at the back of my memory. But I always paged through it like a picture, like I was paging through a picture. And I would always pass it. But today it actually came and it was like, boom, this is when it all started. So this is how it started. I was, it was in primary, okay? And we had um, my best friend, okay, well, you know the primary best friends. So we were, she's, we were sitting in group um, three. Okay, I was supposed to be in group two, but then there were ties, like there were, there were, there were three number ones and two number twos and what, what, what. So we were pushed back to group three and I was sitting in group three and my friend was seated right opposite. You know how it is they sit you according to your performance and all right. So I was seated in group three. We have like these weekly tests that determine which group you'll be seated next the, the next week. And then that from then you know every week you change according to how you passed a test. So we write this test and the teacher was so busy and then she decided to exchange with the person in front okay so okay you, you know you exchange with the other groups and then we mark on our own should be calling out the answer it happened that there was this beef going on this beef going on with, with my friend and this other girl who was in one and then apparently we had the same answers on on a question Okay. And she made it such a big deal. She was like, oh, we had the same answers. Uh, it was not like everything, but at a specific uh, question, we had the same answers. And then, and then we got the same percentage. So she made it a big deal. You know, and she was like, no, ma'am, I think they cheated. How come they have the same answers here? And then at the end, they have the same percentages, blah, blah, blah. And the teacher did the worst mistake ever. Instead of her taking the books to check for herself, if indeed we, we cheated, like we're copying from each other, she did not. And I tried to explain, like, you know, I raised my hand to, 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 to fight for myself. And the teacher shut me down. I can't remember what she said, but she shut me down and we were laughed at. The whole class laughed at us and she said some really mean stuff, you know, some terrible stuff. She expected better from me and all that. And I'm thinking, I'm looking at this girl and I'm like, I'm, you know, I'm hoping she, she, she says something so that the teacher changes her mind. And the teacher was angry at us and she was like, she cancelled the whole question and she was like, you're going to group four. And and group four was like <laughs> the the group where the the special students are. And I'm sitting there with these kids that do not, not that struggle to understand things in class. And you're thinking, oh. and, and my friend was pushed to the lower group. And we were told you don't, you mustn't be friends. You don't, you don't. There's nothing. You don't contribute anything to each other. She said mean things, you know. And from that day, I shut down. I was so quiet, so quiet. And I didn't. I think I didn't expect because I I knew her, you know, from outside school. So I didn't expect her to shut me down like that. And I, I, I had I never been laughed at by in, in class before and I'd never been called those names. I've never nobody has ever spoken to me like that, even at home. So I think it shut me down and that's when I changed completely. When when it happened back then, I didn't realize that 
this thing had changed me. So from that time, I was just scared to speak out. I was just scared to fight for myself. But you know, as you grow up, there's something, there's some things that you you learn not to not to tolerate. You know, but yeah, as it is, my strength is in fighting for people close to me. But when it comes to fighting for myself. I tend to be super aggressive and super rude about it. So I'm not so good at fighting for myself. But woo! People close to me, people that I love, my family, do I, you know, I can go out of my way. So I don't know if what I've just said makes sense to anybody. Like, does anyone relate? And they are also trying to figure out how to fight this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to research more because it's been hard for me to research about it because I didn't want to accept it. Like not to receive it in my life and say, this is who I am because it's not who I am. But I need to know what I'm dealing with. I need to know what I'm fighting with. So I'm going to research and, and I'll come back with um with my biblical views and medical the research and all that. Anywho, thank you for checking out my channel. Please remember to like, share, and subscribe. Thank you, Mrs. M. Mm. <laughs> I can't reach. Mm.